One of like Devotion is a pauper deck that has been around forever and hasn't changed much since 2013. Its central core has remained intact ever since and nowadays it's still a popular archetype among paper and online players. But what makes it evergreen? To answer that, let's break down the cards on it. First, all the creatures have a value effect that punish your opponents or their board. This is paired with a solid removal and card advantage effects that prevent you from running out of gas. But let's make one thing clear. The glue to the deck is Great Mercan, a creature that will drain your opponents based on your devotion to black and the reason for this deck's name. Let's look at how the deck has evolved through the years starting 2014. This year is crucial because of the introduction of Chainer's Edict, a card that was downshifted on Vintage Masters and online set only. But since proper rules say all the cards that have been released at Common Rarity, Chainer's Edict became legal in the format. This gave Mono Black the tools to get rid of pesky creatures like Guardian of the Guild Pact or Boggles and upgraded the deck's removal package. The following year, Mono Black received another boost in the form of Gurmag Angler. But the real game changer for the deck came in 2016, with the introduction of Monarch to the format thanks to Thorn of the Black Rose. Monarch is an ability that fits perfectly on Mono Black decks, as usually how it plays out is that once you resolve Monarch, it's easy for the deck to kill every creature your opponent plays later. This turns the Monarch into a one-sided holy mine for the rest of the game. After that, the deck remained the same all the way to 2018, and it was until 2019 that new cards were added as support for it in the form of Defile and Witch Kotash. In 2020, Cast Down was downshifted and Bound Picker was released thanks to Double Masters. New cyber options like Divest and Suffocating Fumes were other cards that were notably introduced through the year. The deck has remained the same ever since, and the same 5 cards have remained as its core on different versions of it. Summarized, in around 10 years, Mono Black all it did was update its removal package and add Monarch to it. Aside from that, the deck hasn't changed much, and since 2013, these 5 cards have remained on it as their untouchable core. And despite the meta changes, the strategy remains a solid option in tournaments for newcomers and seasoned players. Now, if you're new to Pauper and want to test other cool decks, click into that playlist. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.